and here first day of 2022 happy new year to everyone 2021 is going for good time flies so fast therefore enjoy as much as you can as today is january 1st 2022 i would like to take this opportunity for a channel update but first let's have a look at some statistics subscribers 650 plus and i thank each one of you for your support I know my channel is still small and can compare myself with channels that have 100, 300, 500k of subscribers, but rest assured that I work hard as much as possible to improve and grow my channel. Number of videos released in 2021, 230. Quite impressive number of videos for a small channel like mine, but I released less videos compared to 2020 and there's a reason why. I prefer to reduce the number of video release so that I can improve on the quality of my content. I invested in a new camera, a new microphone, a new laptop, video editing software so that I can produce and give you better quality content. Hours of work, 2070 hours or nearly 87 days. That's an average of 9 hours per video which include research and notes, scripting, filming, recording, graphic design, editing, exporting and uploading and I do everything by myself. I don't have anyone helping me or any staff on my payroll to produce my videos. They are all safe made and I'm proud of it. Sometimes I drag my wife for a couple of shots, but that's all. Also consider that I have a full-time job and my family and house errands. What's coming in 2022? First of all, I will cover all spoilers of all sets that will be released this year. And we know there will be a quite number of sets. First, the standard sets, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which we already had some teasers, Streets of New Capena, Dominaria United, and The Brothers War. Then there are the supplementary reprint sets, Uninfinity, Commander Legends 2, Double Masters 2022, and Jumpstart 2022. Deep analysis and set review of all these sets, which I recently have converted into a much better format is it worth it videos, covering the print run, the price, the set most valuable cards, and its worthness in terms of mass box opening, draft play, and collecting and investing. As we are talking about collecting and investing, secret lair drops and universes beyond is it worth it videos. We already know that Warhammer 40k, Street Fighters and Fortnite will be the latest entries in the universes beyond, and when considering the success and the revenue of these products, Wizard of the Coast will not stop releasing secret lair drops, and I will be there for you, to give you all the information and data you need in considering purchasing one or more of these drops plus my personal advice. And I know you find these very useful. Box openings, both of newly released sets and I still have some old box opening videos in my archive. And you know me well, I try to go as fast as possible because at the end, what you want to see are the rare and mythic cards. Personally, I don't like to see box opening videos that take half an hour to crack one box so that you can go through all the common and uncommon cards. Who cares? Tutorials of newly released cards and especially the new mechanics, which if you consider how much the game have evolved, they have a tendency to be quite complex to understand and have some complicated interactions. Magic Arena. I believe out there there is a vast number of players that play Magic Arena. Even I like the game and I will continue opening 100 packs of each standard set released. Plus, I will cover some interesting matches with new decks that I will brew. Predictions. I know it's difficult to predict a new set, but it's one of those videos that I really enjoy doing. It gives me the opportunity to think and delve into an upcoming set. And let's be honest, they are fun. Last but not least, BNR announcements, hopefully we don't have a lot, mail opening, stories and lore. As you can see, there is a lot of work to be done, but an excited Magic 2022. A last note, my channel is free, totally free. I don't ask anyone to donate me any money. What I do, I do it because of my passion for the collectible world, especially Magic the Gathering. Only one thing I ask you, only one thing, to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you nothing, but I value that more than gold. Thank you again and... Cheers for a fantastic 2022!